everyone. Let's take a deep dive into the helpful content update. I think we're on day 10 or somewhere in there. The days kind of bleed into one, but John Mueller made a statement saying that the helpful content update is doing what they thought that it should do, and there probably won't be a rollback. But what does that signal to me? It signals that, that we are nearing towards the end of the helpful update. Even though the SERPs are still going up and down in volatility, this is a good time to start taking a look at what is showing up in the SERP. So I pulled up some examples for you. Let's say you had a site that targets cat grooming brush. You can see that the first result that pops up is Amazon. And then we have people also ask, taking up the majority of the top spots. Underneath that, you have the Spruce Pets, which is an affiliate site. So let's take a look. The Amazon, of course, course brings you here and it's just all the cat brushes for grooming galore that you can click on and buy direct. Now the second spot is an affiliate site which still gives you a little bit of hope that you can appear on the first page. But then after that you have Amazon once again click to buy. You have Chewy, an e-com site, Walmart, and you have PetSmart. All of those coming up with on the first page. Now if you take a look at the actual first page you can see that at the top, we have all of this PetSmart, Amazon, Petco, Walmart, Chewy, all of these links at the very top. And then you have Amazon showing up first. People always ask or also ask, taking up quite a bit of the first spots. Then you have the Spruce Pets and then Amazon. And then after that, we've got a grouping of videos. And then after that, take a look, you have Amazon, Chewy, Walmart, all of the sponsored type posts. And then after after that, again, e-com sites, and then you can explore brands, which is direct brands of cat grooming brushes. So what I want you to pay attention to is the first page, what it looks like for your search terms and what's taking up all of the spots. Now, this particular search term still gives us hope because the second winner on the first page is a review site. However, let me focus your attention on a, another search for a pet tool. This one is professional dog grooming clippers. This is for dog grooming clippers. If you take a look at the first page, you can see the carousel at the very top, and then you have the sponsored links going to anyone that's paid to be in that area. And then underneath that, you can see more sponsored type posts with their reviews. And then if you keep going under that, so we're already moving well below the, fold, the first fold of the page. So what comes up next? You've got Pet Ed. People also ask Walpro, which is a direct brand, Amazon, Amazon, and another direct brand. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. You've got Pet Edge, which is an e-com site. You've got Wall Clippers. Again, you can buy directly on the site. Amazon, you can buy directly on the site. And Amazon, again, parts of the first page for this term. Now, where am I headed with this? Check your keywords. Who is winning the top spots of your keywords? What What's taking up the majority of the space? How far is the end user going to scroll down on the first page to get to your site? And once you've scrolled past all of the sponsored and shopping carousels, what's showing up next? What we're starting to see more and more of are sites where you can directly buy on the site. Now, this is for direct pet supplies. So if you have an affiliate site for pets and you have have a lot of pages dedicated to pet supplies. Check those keywords and see who's winning the top spots. You're going to get pushed out of this segment of the industry. And if you think about it, it's because of what the end user needs and wants to see. So if I am the end user doing a search for professional dog grooming clippers, what do I expect to see? Well, I expect to see e-com sites where I can click and buy it on on that site right away. I'm not really that type of term. I'm not really looking for the best professional dog grooming clippers and write-ups between all of them, distinguishing between each of the brands. So it's all in the actual term that we're using to search and what the end user expects to see is where we're headed with this.
list. So if I typed in best professional dog grooming clippers, the first spot is then an affiliate site after the sponsored section. So best professional dog grooming clippers, I am looking for which ones are the best and what are the ins and outs of each. And look how the SERPs change. For best professional dog grooming clippers, you've got the Spruce Pets, which is an affiliate site. We have the Canine Journal, which is another affiliate site. Top Dog Tips looks like another affiliate type site. And then you have I Heart Dogs, which also looks like an affiliate site. Take a look at your search term. What is showing up on the first page? What is the end user expecting to see? And how is Google shifting what they're showing on the first page? Do you have a chance to compete? Do, if they're only showing e-com sites, do you have an e-com site? Or do you need to find the terms, the keywords, where affiliate type sites are actually coming up on the first page? So if most of your keywords are down, take a look at the SERPs. Do you have a chance to actually compete or do you need to find better keywords that will show your review type site? So in the end for Google, it's all about what the expectations are of the end user and showing that to the end user as they do the searches. And Google is becoming better and better at aligning the SERPs with the actual end user. And that's what we need to pay attention to as as we're developing our affiliate sites. Coming up this week, I'll show more examples and also what the future of search is becoming for affiliate sites. Are we getting squeezed out of certain terms? Does that mean we have no terms left? It does not. Where is Google headed with all of this? More searches that look like this with the e-com sites. We'll continue to take a deep dive into the helpful content all this week as it's coming to an end.